Mexico, born of revolution and dedicated to liberty. This proud heritage of independence, Mexico shares with her neighboring republic, the United States of America. The guns of the Republic of Mexico today honor the visit of the President of the United States, John F. Kennedy and Mrs. Kennedy. They are met by their country's ambassador to Mexico, Thomas C. Mann, and by Mexico's ambassador to the United States, Antonio Carrillo Flores. President Kennedy is welcomed by President Lopez Mateos of Mexico in the tradition of peace and friendship between our two nations. We come uh, as good neighbors and follow in the footsteps of one of my most distinguished predecessors, Franklin Roosevelt, who prophesied that the day would ultimately come when presidents of Mexico and the United States would freely meet and freely communicate upon their common responsibilities and common opportunities. There is so much which unites uh, this great country with my own. We share a border of 2,000 miles. Over 3 million of our citizens in the United States are descended from your citizens. Most of all, we are both children of revolution. And it is of my hope that the spirit of our revolution in the United States is as alive today in our country as is the spirit of your revolution here in Mexico. In Mexico, as in the United States, the spirit of revolution today is one of hope and of peace. It was not always so. Again and again, from Mexico's mountain forts, from field and village, cities and towns across the land, the guns of yesterday spoke out. Spoke out again and again of Mexico's revolutionary struggle for freedom. Spoke of bloodshed and heroism, of Hidalgo, of Morelos, of Madero, of Benito Juarez, as the people of Mexico fought on for the right to be free and equal, for the right to be a nation. Liberty, said President Lopez Mateos, was born on this continent where the rights of man were also born. The rights to bread and to land and to peace, to dignity and to respect, Today, the people of free, democratic Mexico come together to welcome the 35th president of the United States. To welcome their neighbor, John F. Kennedy.
1962, the heart of Mexico City, Plaza Mayor de la Constitución, where today the sounds of history in the making echo and re-echo with the sounds of Mexico's ancient past. Now the seat of government of the Republic of Mexico, the great plaza of the Constitution was, centuries ago, the center of an Indian empire. The record of civilizations long gone by brings to the United States President's wife, Mrs. Jacqueline Kennedy, a deepening awareness of Mexico's timeless heritage. Part of the cultural heritage of all the Americas. In facing the challenge of the future, Mexico can look back with pride on the beauty, vigor, and imagination of the achievements of her past. Silent ruins of temples, of palaces, and cities bear witness to the procession of civilization after civilization which flourished on this continent a thousand years before the conquest. Then came the conqueror, and for three centuries this ancient land was called New Spain. slumbered for 300 years. Eighteen ten, with the Grito de Dolores, the spirit of rebellion, the revolution came alive. The colony called New Spain became a nation, Mexico. A century and a half later, Mexico City, sixth largest city in the world, the capital of the Republic. city of the 20th century, and yet a city and a nation whose people respond to friendship with personal warmth and with a personal welcome. Cada visita es como llegar a un nuevo país. Vemos en todos sitios vuestro esfuerzo por crear una vida mayor para vuestro pueblo. Pero veo también muchas cosas que no han cambiado y espero que nunca cambien. Los valores de vuestra cultura, la profunda fe en la dignidad del hombre, se han expresado en su, vuestra arte y literatura a través de los siglos. The underlying values of Mexican culture, in the words of Mrs. Kennedy, the profound faith in man's dignity have been expressed in Mexico's art and literature over the centuries. The ancient spirit of Mexico has not changed. Nor has material progress in Mexico been won at the sacrifice of the values of the heart or the intellect. The cultural traditions of the past, with the support of the Mexican government, enrich the lives of Mexico's people today.
The fiesta spirit Mexico wears in honor of the United States visitors is not only a matter of a day's confetti or of passing crowds and holiday lights. The meeting of President Kennedy and President Lopez Mateos marks the start of a new era. An era of understanding and friendship between neighbors. In honoring the achievement of Mexican independence, President Kennedy once more expresses the dedication of the people of the United States and Mexico to freedom. Both countries committed today as yesterday to the ideals and purposes of Hidalgo and Washington, of Lincoln and Juarez. Respect and honor to the heroes of Mexican independence. The president's words reaffirm our common goals. Equality, bread, land, education, jobs, and a roof over one's head. It is our responsibility uh, to recognize that there is also a necessity for an economic revolution. If political independence, political equality, national sovereignty are all to have true significance and true meaning. Until that is done in this hemisphere from the top to the bottom, our revolutions and the revolution of this hemisphere is incomplete. We in the United States are committed to a better life for our people. For no nation can seek social justice abroad that does not practice it at home. But now, in addition, the United States of America is committed to help fulfill these goals throughout the Americas, to work together with Mexico and all the other nations of the inter-American system to create a society in which all men have equal access to land, to jobs, and to education. A society in which no man is exploited for the enrichment of a few, and in which every arm of the government is dedicated to the welfare of all the people. This effort is not a one-way street. We in the United States have much to learn, as well as something to teach. Your people and mine are united in our ideals and aspirations for this hemisphere. If you and I, Mexico and the United States, and our two great nations believing in peaceful revolution, if we believe as we do that social justice can be achieved without the sacrifice of freedom or progress, then we have ample opportunity in this hemisphere to carry out those convictions, to implement those promises. All this will not be easy, but the Mexican Revolution has helped to show what could be done, that the path of freedom is the path of progress. The path of progress in Mexico, as in many other places of the world, begins with the land. The revolution that would conquer hunger must conquer the land, reclaim it often from the abuse of centuries, from erosion, drought. A revolution that would conquer poverty must restore to the farmer who tills the land a sense of pride, ownership, his fair share of the crop he grows. To the landless, the campesino, Mexico's revolution under its land reform program has returned more than 100 million acres in less than half a century. It has taken up the peaceful arms, the modern tools of training and techniques. 
building for the welfare of its citizens. In Mexico's peaceful revolution of today, illiteracy yields to the weapons of education. Somewhere in the country, a new classroom opens every two hours, every day. Disease yields to the weapons of modern medicine. In Mexico's industries, the fires of economic growth have been kindled. In the last two decades, Mexico's supply of goods and services has tripled. Her per capita output has grown by almost 80%. Oil, steel, cement, to pave the way for progress. Modern means of transportation and communication are beginning to break down the ancient barriers of time and of distance which have separated people for centuries. As Mexico's 20th century revolution reaches out across the land into many corners where there was once darkness, isolation, hardship. These are, I realize, only statistics. But behind those statistics, I know, hope has replaced despair and opportunity, misery. Your revolution is far from completed in your own nation, just as our goals have not been achieved in our own country. Yet we must now work together, your country and mine, to help bring such hope and opportunity to all the Americas. Our two nations have been blessed with the same blessing of liberty. We now dream the same dream of opportunity in the future. And our two continuing revolutions have now been joined as one, one great effort in one great continent, in one great alianza parallel progresso. Viva Mexico. Friendship with respect, of alliance for progress. Progress through freedom has begun.